today we're going to be doing some demolition. I got the brand new machine out here, the Kubota KX080. Going to be demolishing this garage and that shed over there. We're also going to be ripping up this concrete pad. We just killed the power to the shed, as you can see. They had a fancy piece of Romex running through the conduit there. Give you guys a quick walk through. There's quite a bit of cabinetry and stuff in here left. But the shed, well, this garage, I should call it, um, it sits a little low, so it holds water in here. And uh, over the years, a lot of this wood has gotten kind of moldy, so it's real musty. Um, there's a hole in the roof upstairs. So the customer just wants to just to rip it down and he's gonna have a new garage put in. You can see there's a hole over there. You gotta be careful, this ground's a little soft. But yeah, should be uh should be fun. We got the brand new machine here. It's, I feel kind of bad. Its first job is gonna be a demolition job, but I'm gonna take it easy on it. And uh you know just try to get the bucket in the action try to keep everything else away from getting scratched up well let's get started
we got most of the garage torn down other than that back wall still hanging on i couldn't quite reach it we're still waiting on our first dumpster to get here so in the meantime we're going to get all this aluminum siding loaded up in the dump trailer Dumpster finally got here. Our dumpster's here. It's time to get this pile in there. I got Corey over there. He's gonna be using the drone. Hopefully we get some cool footage. And we'll see if this wall falls before we're ready for it. But it's safe. If it falls back, it's no big deal. We're gonna clean it up. Um, but it was creaking a little bit in the wind.
grab the shed hole and then bring it over here to where the garage is and break it up here so we don't have such a big mess over this area. We'll see if it moves in one piece. What a mess. All right, there it is guys garage is gone except the foundation and the uh, shed is also gone we got this was our second dumpster I was worried if it, I didn't know if it was gonna fit or not but as you can see we're uh, we got a couple old pieces we'll tuck in there but we're, we're packed to the max they don't usually want you going over the top but if you're slightly over um, you know depending on the company you'll probably be okay I'll probably grab the excavator and crunch it a couple more times but I'm gonna make this a two-part video I think um, just so they're not super long what's next is I got to rip out this concrete then the concrete over there and then all these bricks and everything and then dispose of that and then I got to grade this area and then they're gonna be putting in a, a shed over here like a, a barn style shed it's a pretty big one i think it's 20 by 16 i want to say right now i'm headed to uh the scrap yard get rid of all this siding it's a decent amount siding's pretty light but it adds up um i'm hoping there's at least you know four five hundred pounds in there aluminum in my area right now is going for 45 to 50 cents a pound so you know if i get 250 bucks i'll be happy either way i didn't want to take up space in the dumpster with that uh, especially it's something i can make a little bit of money on the scrap yard is so close so it's worth taking it so stay tuned for that i'll uh I'll, I'll let you guys know at the end of this how much i actually got maybe i'll take a little footage of the scrap yard but as usual thanks for watching don't forget to hit the thumbs up 
and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And stay tuned for part two of this. Like I said, I'm gonna do a second part, ripping all this concrete out. It should be easy work for this machine. This machine's a beast, by the way. I didn't like the first job being demo, but I don't think it did too bad. We got some, you know, scratches on the bucket, stuff like that, but that'll happen from digging anyway. My area is real rocky, so um, you could expect it to get scratched up. But the boom and everything, cylinders, there's a mark right here. Honestly, I think that was there when I got it. Um, and then like this mark that's on here, that was from when uh, it was transported on the trailer. They had this curled all the way up. So, but yeah, she's still pretty clean, thankfully. She needs to stay clean for a long time because I'm gonna be paying for it for a while. So yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for, for part two of this. All right, I'm at the scrap yard getting ready to pull up on the scale we'll see what she weighs hey what's up art <laughs> yeah hey whatever i could do to make a buck <laughs> i uh i was doing some demolition and uh i figured why not Well, there it is. You see there, $296. It was 520 pounds.